hey guys welcome once again to my youtube channel i am so excited to have you here and i'm glad that you are here oh my god i can't wait to save my life it's a struggle for me literally i hope that this video blesses you i hope that it becomes a turning point in your life and i hope that god reaches you at your place of concern sit back and enjoy oh god Riskame, you can't win to save your life that was supposed to be a moment you're welcome so we're going to be talking about breaking social media addiction especially for us christians i got a comment on the screen a while back on one of my videos and it was so relatable at that moment because i was going through a season where social media was like an idol in my heart right i would wake up in the morning and um, i would have very little time to prepare for work and i'm like oh I, I don't have enough time to have a personal devotion a bible study or to read my bible any of those things but i'm scrolling through social media and then um, i would rather do that and then rush to work and it even became worse because um i stay aside from when i'm at work i spend most of my time alone so the quietness around me i didn't want it it was unwelcome i had this unwelcome quietness around me so because of that i was on social media at every moment i'm on social media when i'm in the bedroom i'm on social media when i'm trying to cook i was on social media at every single moment every time i was online and please don't quote me wrong social media in itself is not a bad thing it's a very great amazing welcome development and giving us the opportunities to like connect on different levels from different locations exchange informations and all of all those great great beautiful things but for me personally i realized that um, it became an idol in my life because um, i would rely on social media to make me feel good and uh, moments that should have been spent with god that i should have been spending things that i should tell god and you know go to the presence of god i i, I started to rely on social media to feel that comfort and that relief and not only that even um, when it comes to um, guiding principles to rule my life rather than um, rely on the biblical standard and you know um what the word of god says about certain situations i started to re i realized that um things that people say people's opinion and all of these videos and all of these things what is popular around became my informant you kind of my guide that would guide my thoughts patterns um, my expectation from life the way i live my life the things i do and all of these things and um it was drawing me back from god negatively and then we also have all of the anxiousness that comes because of the use of social media anxiousness fearfulness comparison and all of that even in the christian faith social media is once again not a bad thing it has aid in the spreading of the gospel and all of that but it has also contributed greatly to why we have a lot of lukewarm christians in the 21st century because a lot of us are busy and um we are focused on what's new what's happening what's trending we are taking in so much of the world and very little from god's word we are spending a lot of our time on social media personally while i was going through this phase i realized that um every other thing in my life was going down the drain my christian life my ability to concentrate with my work and um, things that goals and plans that i am supposed to meet up with because i'm doing something and um i would concentrate and work for like two 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 seconds and i'm checking and scrolling through social media and then i'm going back to check oh what's new oh let me do my work and all of those distractions and the same thing with my christian faith it became harder and more difficult to study the scriptures i can try to like maybe read the bible and all of that but when it comes to study it's so hard because i, I just want to check what's new what's the new thing going on what's happening what are people saying on twitter what's this thing what's that well, i'm watching a video on tiktok and just scrolling through again and again and all of that but then god merciful sweet amazing god showed me mercy and he made me realize that um i cannot serve god and mammon i cannot have an idol and at the same time say i'm serving god i cannot i cannot share that commitment to god i cannot be of god and at the same time be of the world i cannot carry this both thing you have to choose which way to go and when those words came to me i remember sitting in my room and i pondered for a moment and i'm like oh this thing is really an idol like i cannot say i am dedicated to god and i don't even spend time with god like i'm rushing all of my prayers i don't read the scriptures i don't do any of these things like it has made me so lukewarm i spend all of my time on social media and then the rest of my other time doing my um work and normal secular activities and all 
it was at that moment and upon this realization that i made some strategic decision and some things that i'll be sharing in this video that helped me with my social media addiction but first social media addiction is like every other addiction it takes time it takes discipline it takes commitment it takes a lot but you would get there so these are the things i did first of all i prayed about it i'm a very big believer in prayer and there is literally nothing that i believe that i can just pull through myself without like god's help so i did ask god for help for strength for discipline for focus for direction for all of those things first i deleted all of my social media apps and because an addiction you don't just delete everything and then off you go and everything is perfect and great again so here's what i would do and we, what i encourage you to do if you are going through the same thing um is I would now um, log in through my browser instead because naturally speaking these apps are meant and designed in a way to keep you scrolling you go from one video to the next or you go from one discussion to the next and you adjust that seat and you know it's interesting it is designed to keep you on they are designed to keep you there for hours on end and all of that so um, but when you use the browser it's different because it's a little more stressful a little less engaging and all of that so I deleted all of the apps and then I would log in using just the browser i did that for a while but again also because it's an addiction and it's really hard to just up and go and you're over it um i tried to start with my most um used social media apps for me personally that happens to be twitter because i enjoy the discussion i enjoy seeing how people think and then you know countering it in my mind having all of those discourses it's kind of like a conversation i have going on all the time but not with people i can see and also i stay with that because it takes a lot of my time and then oh now i have just um instagram and um, facebook and then i use instagram for a while and then i'm logging off um I'm deleting the Instagram and leaving just Facebook and then after a while letting go of the Facebook and then I log in through the browser and then Instagram if you know if you've logged in through the browser before you realize that it doesn't flow like the normal ones and all of that so you're just you use it for a while and then you're going back and all of that so if you start by taking off your most interesting and most engaging app you realize that it becomes easier you spend less and less time with the others and then I encourage you the same thing I did to use the browser instead so again for me personally because i'm trying to post more frequently and to increase my social media presence it's a bit difficult to keep the apps completely deleted for a very long um, lengthy period of time so i find myself downloading and deleting and downloading and deleting and all of that so when i have it downloaded another thing i do to like help me reduce how much um, time i spend on social media is um turning off notifications so i don't get notified that oh this person just posted this person just commented this just happened no no notifications at all so turning off notification can also be a very useful tool um in helping you break away from your social media addiction another thing i did to uh, help with my social media addiction is replace the use of social media with more healthy habits like um, reading books i love to read books a lot i just found that um it was difficult for me to find engaging books or books that like kind of drew me in for a while and also um while i started working on staying away from social media i started to search for books and i downloaded a whole lot of them i got books on different and interesting aspects of life things that would keep me um will be healthy informative educative and yet keep me engaged and not just um wondering about and all of that hey guys i'm sorry the light went off and it's kind of like raining outside so the place is a bit dark and i just got an extra light now so ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah back to our discussion so again when i talk about um social media and um overcoming and then um, overcoming the addiction of social media for me it wasn't just about social media it extended to other streaming platforms like um the time i spend on netflix watching and binging of, on movies on prime on all of these other streaming platform was taking away my time for god and taking away my time to do other productive things so for that another thing i did was um try to replace the type of movies i watch with healthier movies in quotes <laughs> almost spiritual and christian movies motivational spiritual christian and um, field movies i tried to download them and try to like you know try out all these other things things that would keep me god-centered i also 
filled my day with messages a lot of messages sermons from preachers that i enjoy i i downloaded like lots of them and i took time to listen to them podcasts and the rest that helped me to cure the quietness that emptiness that comes with quietness around me when i'm at home when i'm around the house and i'm alone and all of that and um, so rather than just taking um videos from social media and laugh and all of that rather than just binge different series on netflix on prime or any of these streaming platforms i would just you know listen to um sermons so when i'm beating when i'm um in the kitchen i'm doing all of these things i'm listening to sermons i'm listening to podcasts i'm listening to things that um are healthy that adds value and all that to my life improves my um my concentration at work my um contributions at work in, improves just like my general output as a human and as a person so once i started doing all of these things and i put these things in place i realized that things became better it became easier to spend time with god it became easier to hear from god my mind was clean my mind my spirit was pure and all of those things so um i spent more time in god's presence it became more natural to say oh i'm listening to um, a sermon i'm taking out time to worship all of these things became easier like the lukewarmness that i was suffering started to become like history become like a distant thing and all this is because we are what we consume in all honesty we are what we consume everything our ideologies everything is informed by these things that we consume these things you take in our output our behavioral pattern all of these things is informed by the things we take in so when even christians are like oh i don't know why um these days i find myself sinning more i find myself um i find it difficult to pray i find it difficult to study the scriptures and all of those things check your habits check your habit check what you spend time where you invest your time in because if you are taking in a lot of things from the world if you are taking in a lot of all these things you realize that um you are going distance from god it becomes difficult to to pull because um again jesus said no man can have two masters you either serve god or you're serving mammon so you're either serving yourself and um, the world and everything that excites your flesh or otherwise you are feeding your spirit man you're either feeding your spirit man or you're feeding your flesh you just have to choose one finally i want to encourage everyone to get back on track with god like i saw this um thing on social media this post where someone was like oh if i was the devil um ask chat gpt like ai like if you were the devil and you want to distract me as a christian what would you do and these were some of the things that come in of course the devil will not come in and walk up to you and say oh my god i need you to go stand up now and fornicate stand up now and do this but he puts in all of these things so you are distracted you are moving away from god's presence and before you know you no longer you you're, you're unable to harness your full potential because you, are, you can't hear from god your mind is beclouded by all these ideologies of the world the new thing was new was trending and all of those things and it's hard to hear from god so i want to encourage you to take deliberate step with your work with god working with god is like every other thing in life you have to be deliberate about it to see progress i hope that god helps you i hope that you've enjoyed this video if you have i beg you to please like this video share the link to your friends family colleagues and everybody around you and do not forget to subscribe to this channel thank you thank you guys so much thank you oh i almost forgot we hit 5,000 guys like ooh. thank you guys so much thank you so so much i'm grateful take care bye cheers